Hey everybody, it's Vivid Reality 47 again, and we are totally going to go through Clue and explain how I built it and how you can make your own. So if you'll just come with me to right here, I will take you to the dirty underworkings of the board game and show you my lovely assistant, Tyler, Doctor Who, and he will model all of the inventions that I have made. Tyler, are you ready for your big debut? Are you being shy? <laughs> okay, so this is the card dealing room. Okay, and these are all of our murder weapons. The first one here is the wrench. This is the lead pipe. This is the knife, the candlestick, the rope, and the revolver. Over here, we have all the characters, Miss Scarlet, Colonel Mustard, Mr. Green, Miss Peacock, Professor Plum, and Mrs. White. And then, by the lovely Doctor Who, are all of our building blocks, which correlate to a different room. All nine of them. So what you want to do is you want to get a dispenser for your weapons, your characters, and your rooms. And you'll have whoever is being dealt the cards go into the room. Shut the door so nobody can see what they're being dealt. And I'm just going to deal him six cards. Two weapons. Two characters. And two rooms. So normally he's going to take all of those supplies and load them into his inventory so that nobody can see them when they come out. But now I want him to show you, you know, that that you can easily draw whatever card you have in your hand and show another person whatever clue you have. Like so, thank you. Okay, so basically if you have somebody to deal the cards, then you'll leave the clue the one weapon, the one character, and the one room in each of the dispensers. And then you'll randomly load everything else into these two and just deal like one, two, three, four. And that randomizes it a lot easier. <clears throat> so if you will follow me, I will show you all the rooms. We have here the conservatory, which if you'll remember in the original game had music sheets on the top of it. So I made sure to make a music box here. There's a sign that notes the room and the block that you use. Here is our study. The short, wait a minute, wait a minute, let's see here, the billiards room with a mossy stone. The hall. The lounge. Kitchen. The ballroom with your 70s disco dance floor. Bam! And the library. Okay, and you gotta have the shortcuts because you gotta make everything exactly like the game. So if you just take the shortcut here, then this will lead you to the billiards room. And there is also a correlating shortcut at the other corner of the map. So you may ask yourself, how will I make a dice? How can I make this thing work? That's cool, because I totally have an answer for you right here. I have created a creature spawner, and all of these creatures correlate to a number. So I built the dispenser too high so that each different creature can spawn. And whichever creature you get is the number that you move and they will burn themselves up eventually. So I got a villager, a cute little happy guy there, so that means I can go six spaces. The different colored markings correlate to different starting points for different characters, so if I'm Miss Scarlet then I can go six spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I have made my way into the conservatory. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry, into the lounge. That was a shortcut. So you can get really creative about how you decorate your rooms and stuff, and everybody that I've played this with has had a blast playing it. It's a really fun time.
at like two or three in the morning when you have nothing else to do. <laughs> so anyway, that is all for the game of Clue. This is the first version of dice that I thought of where you actually stand here and try and shoot the color that you want to move. But my dice have evolved since then and so I think everything works a lot better. I will see you guys next time. Bye!